Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we'll be reviewing the Desktop Army Volume 10 uh, G from the Jinrai series KT323F um, This is the from the Frame Un Girls uh, Desktop Army, they make a bunch of these little tiny figures um, So uh, there is uh, one from the Fate Stay series so without further ado, let's just see what's inside the contents just to show you the box. So you have a chance of getting the red one or the black one. Um, this is the price from Japan. I got it from Japan so it's 1780 yen. Roughly into maybe 60 ringgit or so. So you need to assemble it yourself. So this is, I'm guessing the head. And I'm guessing I got the black one, which is not bad. So it comes with this little tiny figure. Let's see what else is inside. So you have to attach all the armor on her body yourself. Oh, this is a very nice weapon, like kunai with shuriken. So it's apparently a ninja. So this must be the base stand and some more parts. So so anyways, this is the finished product. Um, as you can see, it looks pretty awesome. Looks like, like a mecha girl kind of thing with like some ninja influence to it. So uh, as you can see, a lot of things going on with the suit. Um, sorry, not focusing. Okay, as you can see, these are dis detachable. So it's like weapons that she can hold. So I decided to put all of them all at once just to display it to see how it looks like. Um, so you have a little shuriken here. I'm not sure you can see it. So these are detachable uh, It's pretty hard to pose with all of them uh, to All the weapons on her because everything tends to fall off. So this is pretty cool. You have a little knife holster on her ankle um, It's actually removable. Let me do that Okay. So you have that so you could actually attach it back and then put it on the legs um, articulation wise um, if you don't put all the weapons in I think it's pretty okay I guess because um, one thing about it is the wing part tends to um, well because of this gun it tends to block it um, so it's limited due to the wings uh, and uh, this little like the hair tends to block a bit so this one doesn't go all the way up so I'm not sure am I doing it wrong or it doesn't go all the way up so and then this one as well so the elbows wise go all the way up to here and here okay. so pretty poseable not too bad so these are the legs the legs could stretch all the way back and hit. So pretty solid. Um, so these are the weapons and you could change the uh, top with something else like you could change it with this. Awesome. This one you have to remove this. Okay. And then this one. So you have like a sky sort of thing. Pretty cool. But I, I, I didn't want her to hold this because I felt like there's already a lot of things going on. So I tried to like minimize it. Um, a lot of um, extra weapons which I didn't fully detach all. Like you have the kunai and you have the shuriken. I don't know what's this. I think if you buy four of it, you could combine it. And then I don't know what's this part. So and then you have an extra face as well. So I'm just gonna keep it in the packaging. So um, and you have extra joints in case like anything does happen to it. So a uh, pretty good quality toy, uh, good to d display on your like your work table or office table, um, so that people know you are a weep. So I'm not a weep. I just I just like mecha girls. I'm. Not sure that fix anything. So anyway, so you have extra weapons here again. And I do not maybe it's bad part. I think it's an armor. 
like this a brass plate you could actually remove it um, I'm, I'm not sure how old are these girls so I better not remove it so that I don't get demon demonetized and I think that's it so they give you a little stand I'm not sure I did it correctly so and this the back in case you're curious again I don't know how old are they FBI, open up! <laughs> I don't come to my house. Anyway, a very nice figure. So I'm just gonna leave you guys with pictures of it being posted. And anyway, thanks for watching my video and see you guys again in my next video.